What am I doing with my life? Before I get into this one, I wanna ask you to please hit the subscribe button and like this video if you're into this kind of Nerf content. Uh, I'm having a ton of fun doing this. I'm trying to make some shifts in the way that I'm managing this platform. Uh, I have a bunch of videos that I'm working on uh, coming out soon on a variety of topics. So um, yeah, please hit subscribe and come along for the journey. Let's check out all this weird stuff. I picked up this lot of stuff from a friend of a friend, uh, someone who's somewhat of a fan and um, we're just trying to move some extra things. And it's funny because uh, I, I, I haven't been finding a ton thrifting lately. Uh, apparently they go thrifting all the time, so I have a feeling that this is all the stuff that I missed <laughs> thrifting um, that I wound up picking up from them. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to go through it and, and see what's here because there's definitely some stuff that I am excited to do something or other with down the road. So I don't know, let's just get into it. So. You know, we've got others oh, darts in this. Well, one one good piece of news is uh, they've been getting the good darts. <laughs> they've been getting waffles, which is nice. But anyway, here's here's an Alpha Hawk. Seems like it's in practically new condition, so nothing wrong with that. Here is one of these uh, X Shot Adventure Force drum blasters, and I don't actually remember what this one is called. I'm gonna have to look that up. I didn't I didn't have one of these before, but I do have this, the like X shot version of the same thing. Uh but with like a sight. I mean I guess it's not exactly the same thing, but you know, it's it's pretty clearly nearly if not the same mechanism. It's interesting because I hadn't I hadn't looked at them side by side before and, and clearly you can see this one's got the longer barrel and the shorter stock. This is actually, this is actually pretty comfortable. I kind of like this. This seems like a really good around the house play kind of thing. I can see if you're holding it up here, my my hand is hitting the drum here. So like darts are gonna rub on that, but, um, but I do like this. I do like this, it's comfortable. I don't know. Here, is a sidewinder. Uh, these are weird. If you're if you're not familiar with the sidewinder, it's essentially a hamp. Um, you pull back and it and it fires just when you pull back on it. Um, I have a couple of these, and the drums are usually interchangeable on them, so that might be something kind of cool to play around with. But yeah, you know, it's got a trigger on it, but the trigger doesn't do anything. It's it's all that's just how you fire it. Here's a surge fire. Uh, a little sticky, but you know, it works. Um, I don't like these. They're better than the Elite 2.0 version, which we had at one point, but not by much. Like, I would prefer this over the Surge Fire, I think. Here's where it gets interesting. Uh, I went from having no deploys now to having four deploys. I, I, it's like these things just happen. They're it's accidental. But here's a deploy that's been painted pink and white. Um, some parts of it may have been taped, but it looks like kind of a first, kind of a first paint job. But everything still works on it. Uh, we've got a magazine here that was painted. Um, just on the end cap there. Let's get this deprimed. But that's kind of interesting. There's possibilities for this. You could do something neat with this at some point. Here is a modulus that has a Busby mag in it. Um, it's not revving now, but it probably doesn't have batteries. The dart guide is ripped, but that is not a big deal because those usually come out when you mod these. This, I have to admit, is one of these blasters where I have a handful of them and I'm just not really inspired to do anything with them, but they keep turning up in lots. And so I have a bunch. Uh, so if anybody has any good suggestions on, on kind of interesting things to do with a modulus, let me know. I don't remember what these are called, but we have, like three of them now. 
little reverse plunger jolts essentially, little one shots. Here's a raider. I have now one rampage and four raiders. I just keep winding up with raiders. I do love the raider and the rampage for being like, just like, it's just a stick that shoots darts. Like it's as minimal as you could possibly make a blaster in a lot of ways. Um, it doesn't unfortunately come with the drum, but I have a bazillion of those things and I don't use them that often. So that's not really a big deal. Here's a sling fire. Now I already looked at this one and um, there was a paint job done on this that's just blue paint. And the thing is, the mag release was painted over. So it's not actually possible to remove the magazine until I, you know, it's easy to look at something like this and be like, oh no, like what is this paint job? Oh, they broke it. Oh, what did they do? I love seeing stuff like this because this is somebody learning, right? Like this is the process of figuring out how to do things. Like you should never expect I know that it's hard if you have, if you only have one blaster to feel comfortable making mistakes, but making mistakes is just a part of learning. You kind of have to let it happen. All right, well, I can't get this to move right now, but the sling fire, it does, it does otherwise work. Uh, next up, we have a retaliator and it is revving, but this thing is jammed something real funky is going on um, I cannot get the magazine out I cannot get the pusher to move and I cannot open the jam door <laughs> so this one will be I mean that that's cool because it makes this a really good candidate for a complete overhaul if I want to have a, a rapid strike to do all of these busted parts will just come out. So they'll all get replaced and that's fine. Here's one of those zombie strike crossbows uh, without the bow, which is fine because I do not need the bow. Um, you know, four shot AR, funky thing. That's cool. H and round stick mag, always good. Here's one of these little sights. Uh, I don't know where this came from, but it's, you know, just literally a tiny little sight. Here's some more darts, and here is a Boomco straw, which is a good sign as well. Pew! And we have this other little box. Now, speaking of learning, here's another paint job that I found in here. Here's a Maverick that's been painted uh, red and silver, and it is not perfect by any means, but it uh, looks miles better than the other paint jobs. Uh, they clearly dismantled the blaster to paint the trigger and some other things. And it actually looks quite good. And I think I have an idea for what to do with this. So if all goes well, you can look forward to some follow-up on this particular blaster. We'll give this some new life. Here is recon number one. Recon number two, and a Retaliator. Uh, they all have their stocks, but not their barrels. Here is a strong arm. Here is a bag of six round magazines. Here is one of those dart tag blasters. Uh, I forget what the name, because there's like multiple names for this blaster because there was a Zombie Strike reissue of it. These are great because they can take a lot of spring weight. Uh, they can be modded up pretty heavily into cool single shot powerhouses. Um, I did one that came out kind of eh. I might go back and redo it or I might take this one and do it again. And then kind of the coolest things Here's one of these flip around stocks and I'm gonna embarrass myself and not remember the blaster that comes from, but I know that these colorways are a little rarer, the orange ones. Um, but yeah, this is a cool find. Here's a little Boomco pistol. Uh, and these are of course weird because they, they won't fire unless they are loaded. 
it does work. It looks like at some point something it got like the back of it got glued or something happened. But I don't know. This is neat. Ammo storage in the handle. I love the aesthetics on this so much. I just think it looks so good. I mean, look look at this. Here's the new rival, right? Like the color scheme, it's so much more in that realm of the like neons. I'm wearing a neon jacket and you can't see the blasters because they're like the same color. Uh, which ah, I'm supposed to get the other two blasters in this line delivered today. So hopefully video on that soon. This grip is incredibly tiny, but like just look how cool the dart storage in this see-through handle is. I just love this. I wish Boomco was... Oh, that's so neat. The I didn't realize the little the little ridges in the straws lock in to the uh, the groove in the handle. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. This is probably my favorite find uh, in in this. Um, other than here is a dart tag, uh, whatever these are called, thingy, thingy thing. But it's the single shot night finder knockoff. It's pretty bad. It does not, does not, oh, it did not work. Oh, it's got that thing going on with the air restrictor pushing the darts out. So this is pretty shot, but um, it's cool to find these. I just, I love, oh, that one was a little better. I do love the aesthetic of this series. And so just finding any one of these is great. I feel like I can maybe um, do this, use this as like a reshell project, like put something stronger inside this. I would love to come up with some options for that. Cause this, this is really comfortable. This is so comfortable. Um, this grip is like perfect. Oh my God. And it's just like little tiny sidearm thing. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. I want to do something with this for sure. So that's it for this lot, but I actually have one other thing that I really want to show you. A few days ago, I was out at one of the thrift stores and I found this. This is a Nerf Hydro Bazooka. It is a vintage blaster that was designed to shoot either water or ballistic balls. And originally it came with a ballistic ball with a string attached to it that went inside here. So if you were gonna shoot water, the ball kept the water inside the chamber and also, I guess, faked out your opponents and made them think that you were going to shoot a ballistic ball at them when you were actually going to shoot water. Interesting. Uh, it didn't come with any balls, but I do have a handful of them from my Balzuka. Uh, is it supposed to be... I don't know how far these are supposed to go in. It's not very clear. Rip. <laughs> it doesn't seem to work. Uh, this, of course, is extra ball storage, which is awesome. Yeah, it doesn't seem to really have a seal, and it's kind of sticky. Oh, wait. I'm not sure what this is supposed to do. It's kind of just there. Uh, like, it feels like it should be doing the hamp thing. Maybe these are supposed to go in all the way. Nope. Oh, that's possibly never coming out. All right, well, unfortunately this doesn't work, but I love this. Uh, this color would have been more like the color on the uh, original Nerf bow and arrow. Uh, it's clearly faded. It should be more like this color here, but it is instead this color here. Um, uh, and so other than being faded and not working, uh, this is a pretty cool find. This was definitely worth it for the 25 cents that I paid for it. So regardless of, of condition, I was really excited to find this because I just don't see a lot of vintage Nerf around here. So um, I'm always happy to, to make those discoveries. Let me know what you think about this stuff. Let me know what you've been finding lately. Be sure to check out my Discord for uh, Nerf and music talk and other things going on. Um, check out my other YouTube channel. My music YouTube channel has been pretty busy lately. So if you like chiptune and weird instruments and stuff like that, uh, you may find some joy there as well. In the meantime, subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment down below about this find, and uh, I will see you on the field.